Kaylee, where in the world do you think you're going? <laughs> That's a little girl on a mission. I'm not gonna let that stop me. Welcome to the van again. I'm currently about 12 minutes away from Niagara Falls, so we're getting pretty close. Canada now because they have the better view. Check it. Over here up to the end. Oh, gotta stop the video. Yeah, you're not allowed to video this. Yeah, border agents don't like you to make videos. Alright, we made it over the border. They let us into Canada. Alright, me and Dan are getting out. We're at the visitor center right now. And uh holy crap. There's a phone booth. I haven't seen one of those in decades. Oh, Canada. <laughs> Get it? Because the national anthem of Canada is... Oh, never mind. She only had a 30-minute nap. Great. Yeah. So this is great. I'm texting my friend, uh, telling her about my trip. Uh -huh. And I started typing the sentence we changed our plans to come home tomorrow so we will arrive in the and then it, it's giving three suggestions of what to say next and the three words that it says I should do are either morning middle or crockpot <laughs> so we will arrive in the crockpot and send <laughs> We will arrive in the crackpot. Why are smartphones so dumb? Seriously. All right, we are parked and making our way to the falls. And there's a storm brewing. I keep hearing thunder. So we might get stormed on a little bit. Making our way that way. There's the fall. I want a piggyback ride. Julia, you excited to see the falls? Yeah, we're coming up pretty soon. You see him over here? What is that? What was? You see him? Yes. Wow. Wow, look at that, ready? What do you, you see? see? Waterfalls. What do you see? Waterfalls. Waterfalls. That's the other waterfalls. Yeah. Just a little bit of water. 
Or is that a lot of water? A lot of water. Is it pretty? Yeah. Wow, yeah, it looks like we are about to get dumped on. Because over here, the sky looks all right. But right about there, holy crap. We had to run for cover uh, real quick because, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, everybody's running for cover right about now. So this is Niagara Falls. I'm going to throw it over to Sarah real quick for a live weather report. Thanks, Jeff. This is Sarah reporting live from Niagara Falls. There's a slight possibility of thunder showers here. You might want to take cover, grab a poncho or umbrella. So if you come to Niagara Falls today wanting to see falling water, you'll get more than you bargained for. Back to you, Jeff. All right, we're going to be stuck inside for a little bit, so we'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is that? All right, we were in the store for about 30 minutes or so. It stopped raining for now. So we're gonna chance it. All right, we made it to the horseshoe part of the waterfalls. Check this out. That's just a little bit of water. Just, 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 just a little bit. You you see the waterfalls too? over there? Wow. You see that? You are right. <laughs> I think wow. she said waterfall. She's making a joke. <laughs> That's a waterfall, waterfall? yeah. So much water, huh? Let me get in the boat. Yeah, so you wanna much. get in the boat? We're gonna go behind <laughs> the waterfall. Well, it was a sunny day when we got here, but now not so much. I'm kinda curious how it would look though on a nice blue sky sunny day, but it is what it is. But I do have to say that having seen it from the American side and now the Canadian side, absolutely the Canadian side has a better view. And even if it was sunny, it would still be really, really misty like it is right now. So when I was here with Ruslan in uh, 2011 or 2012, I can't remember exactly which year it was, uh, I think I found the spot that we were standing. We were right over there on Goat's Island, or Goat, Goat Island or Goat's Island? One of the two. Um, on the left side of the falls. We were like right there and we can only see it from the side. So obviously this is a much better view. Now we're actually going to go behind part of the waterfalls, which I've never done and I'm super excited about. Canadian. Very Canadian. <laughs> 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 we 
we got our tickets to go behind the falls, but we have to wait for our time slot to go. So until then, we get to check out the view some more from here and uh, check this out. That's a good view. It looks so cool. We got in line to go uh, behind the falls to do our time for our tour, but we were just told that one of the elevators broke that lets people down. So they said, well, any elevator is broke, nobody can go down. So they shut it down and um, they said they have a tech coming. They said it could be five minutes, it could be an hour. So we're just standing here deciding what to do. Because they said we can come later or we could come tomorrow morning, but they said, well, an elevator's broken, nobody goes. Bummer. Headed to the power plant right now while we're waiting for the uh, the elevator to get fixed. Apparently this is the old power plant that they don't use anymore but has really cool architecture and we're gonna go walk around it and see how it looks. It's pretty much the southwest side of it. And just that quick, about an hour and a half later, uh, we are headed back to see if they fixed the elevator. I really hope they did because I kind of want to go behind the waterfalls. Fingers crossed. Good news, the elevator is fixed and they're letting people down. So apparently people get really wet, everybody gets a poncho. <laughs> So stylish. <laughs> Fancy. 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 They pack us in those elevators. No wonder it broke down. Yeah. Follow the light at the end of the tunnel, I guess.
Right, we got a really good angle now. The Maid of the Mist right there? Yeah. Let's go down there. Yeah, let's go down there. Downstairs. Here's where you might need the hood. What do you think? Uh, Are you getting all wet? <laughs> what? Is it nice? You like it? It's really cool, huh? All right, Julie approves. Look at this. Oh, oh. And there's Kaylee. Are you getting wet? <laughs> Is this happy? Yeah. Just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Yummy. Yeah. Ready? Ready? <laughs> <laughs> Every time there's a little gust of wind, we just get dumped on. It's great. <laughs> Guy just said that this is the old tunnel that they used to use. You can feel it, you can hear like the thunder roaring. Apparently we're about 200 meters around the falls. <laughs> Julie's loving this. Did you think of behind the falls? Waterfalls. Did, did you like it behind the waterfalls? Yes. Did you get all wet? Mm, yeah. You got wet? Yeah, behind the falls was sweet. Uh, apparently we walked about 200 meters around the horseshoe, which is about a third of the Canadian falls. And 
Yeah, I especially like the fact that everybody was wearing the same yellow poncho. So no matter where you looked, it looked like members of some kind of weird waterfall cult. <laughs> right now it's dinner time and we're hungry. So we're gonna go get a bite to eat and then come back when it's dark, which is pretty soon. And the waterfall should be all lit up. So I gotta get a shot of that. Oh, that is misty. We got some live music over there and the kids just cannot help but dance. Shake it. Oh, downtown Niagara Falls is pretty sweet at night. It seems everywhere is playing live music. Okay, cool. Here's the American side lit up at night. Hello? God bless America, even though we're in Canada. So here's the Canadian Falls. They have not changed colors since the fireworks stopped. I don't know if they're going to you know, flip the switch and make them change colors again or not, but it looks kind of cool being red. This was totally cool. To think I almost declined my sister's offer to come on this trip. What a bad decision that would have been. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had fun. It was a lot of fun for us. I'll see you on the next one. When life gets you down, stand up and overcome.